Back at it again, baby. What is up, guys? My name is CG Scrubs. Thank you for turning in into the fourth episode of the Scrubs podcast. Uh, it's been a minute. It's been a little bit since the third episode came out. It was almost a year ago. Uh, sorry for the lack of uploads for this podcast, but I'm back on that grind. Uh, hopefully, we can get more consistent episodes uh, coming in through. And uh, if you haven't seen or heard the previous episodes, be sure to check anchor.fm slash CG Scrubs to catch up on those previous episodes. Uh, to listen to the audio version uh, if you're wanting to watch the video version check out my youtube channel at youtube.com slash cg scrubs where the first three episodes are already there and uh yeah let's not uh, dilly dally any further let's just get into the fourth episode of the scrubs podcast okay so first things first uh, i want to uh, start off with the uh, tv show that i am uh, watching at the current moment i'm watching a decent amount of tv shows right now it takes well, not a decent amount, just like it takes forever to, uh, for me to watch shows. Uh, like as of right now, I'm actually starting One Piece and that's taking a bit. Uh, <laughs> uh, I got to find time for that. But there's even smaller shows. Like there's another show called Made in Abyss. I'm watching uh, it's like a 12 episode, 13 episode anime. Um, it, just take, it just takes forever to me to watch a show. But as of right now, a show that has kept my attention so far is only three episodes in. But it's keeping my attention is uh, Obi Wan Kenobi, that's on Disney Plus, uh, takes ten. It takes place ten years after the events of Revenge of the Sith, and so far, it's it's a pretty good show. It's nothing too crazy, I think. Uh, there's nothing really explosive about the show, and um, I'm not needing it to be. Uh, now that I think about it, I just uh, I'm I'm fine with a, a sort of a, a sort of simple story with you know Obi Wan Kenobi and uh, uh, how he's gonna have to go through a life of like 10 years past uh, the revenge is like how his mindset has sort of changed uh since then uh i don't want to spoil too much but like um like he's he not sort of loses faith in the jedi but like uh, he's he just sort of like gave up and like uh having to uh do anything to like uh save uh you know the galaxy from the empire he's just like yeah i'm, I'm just sort of done with it uh, but you know he gets called into action and you know he has to do what he has to do um so uh yeah i can't i can't really get into much detail without spoiling anything uh but i do want to note that uh um well, the, I, I don't know her name but the the black chick that plays the the, the one of the inquisitors um you know i don't think her acting is that great but like uh, you know, people are really hating on her. I guess cause, because she's black. Uh, shame on y'all. It's, it's not that. It's not that deep, bro. Uh, I think even uh, Aaron McGuire, the actor who plays Obi Wan, uh, goat by the way, um, he uh, posted a video like, "Hey, uh, you know, it's don't do that. That's that's bad." And you know, it's he, she shouldn't have to do that. Uh, but you know, because people are you know stupid and racist and this time the third, um, so. Uh, it's tough, but uh, yeah, you go watch the Kenobi show so far. It's good, you know. Watch it on Disney Plus or you know uh, wherever you can. You know, you know, saying maybe you get a password from someone, you know, or you know, you know, you know. I ain't gonna say nothing, but you know, what I'm saying. Anyways, um, I'm gonna transition to <laughs> transition into the next topic. Um, uh, it's uh, it's about Sonic, and uh, before I get into that, I want to note that I am a Sonic fan. Uh, I grew up with the series when I was just, when I was younger. Uh, I played a decent amount of the games. I had like the Sonic Mega Collection Plus on the PS2, where I played uh, the classics. Um, played Sonic Mania Generations. Uh, what I played mostly what are considered uh, like great or good Sonic games, at least. Um, though I played Sonic Adventure 2, and you know, not my favorite. I'll just say I'll just put it that way. But uh, you know, I won't call it bad. Uh, but I'll just say it hasn't aged well. I'll say that. Uh, but you know, I, I just consider myself a good, uh, like a a, a a good Sonic fan, like a, a, like a decent Sonic fan. Like uh, I, I grew up uh, with Kobana Marty four five six. If you knew him on YouTube, he doesn't post anymore. But uh, you know, he was a big uh, inspiration for me to get back into the Sonic series. So shout out to him. Uh, hopefully, he's doing well. Um, but uh yeah i, I want to say so far for this year in 2022 sonic has had a pretty good year in comparison to the others that he had you know sonic uh sonic games uh lately haven't been as great as they used to be 
um, and you know people love to rag on him for it but you know lately it's been uh, been on an upward hill you know the Sonic movie came out the Sonic 2 movie it was great I, I really loved it um, you, Sonic Origins is coming out soon just a bunch of you know remasters of the classic Sonic games uh, hopefully they have the Michael Jackson music in there uh, for Sonic event uh, for Sonic uh, and Sonic 3 and Knuckles um, and then uh, was there anything else? Sonic? Oh yeah, the Sonic Prime TV show. Uh, as of this recording, the trailer hasn't dropped yet. Uh, but oh, there was a teaser sort of thing that was played with the Sonic voice actor. It sounded really good. The animation looks cool. Uh, so I'm excited to see that. But the main thing I wanted to talk about is Sonic Frontiers, the next mainline Sonic game. And from what we've seen so far of gameplay that was released on IGN for both the open world aspects and the combat, uh, kind of mid. And now it, it sucks to say that because I was hoping that this game would uh, re re reinstitute a, uh, the renaissance that Sonic has seemed to be having so far. Like I said, it's been a, sort of an upward hill this year. Again, the movie, Origins, uh, Prime, all is looking good. I just really wanted Sonic Frontiers to be the main catalyst, like the, you know what I'm saying, uh, the, the main thing I would be like, okay, Sonic is back, baby. Uh, but this, uh, it, it, it is, it's, man, like, I don't know what to say. Like, first first off, the, the world in of itself, uh, Sonic open, Sonic in an open world, uh, it's not it's not like I'm not it's not like I'm against the concept but I was really curious how they were gonna handle it and so far from what we've seen it is nothing short of mid uh, it, at least from what we've seen it's just like this big open grass field some towers here and there uh, just going around almost doing nothing uh, it, 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 it didn't seem fitting for Sonic uh, this cartoony character in this realistically world based setting um, but I wouldn't I'd be so upset with him being in that setting if there was if there seemed to be stuff to do and uh, not really like I just I, I, I even with both the trailers that came out through IGN I don't I don't know the objective of the game uh, like how do you go from point A to B uh, and then transitioning to the combat trailer that released from IGN it it wasn't anything special either like that wasn't as bad as the first trailer uh, where he was just, or whoever was controlling Sonic was just walking around uh, in this almost nothingness of a land. Uh, but the game, but the combat, it was, you know, it was, it was whatever. Like it was pretty standard, basic. It was nothing making me want to get the game, you know. Um, and it didn't help that, like with the movement, it seems, it seems like it was directly copied from Sonic Forces, which was already a mid game. Uh, so, you know, people are just saying that, like, this is basically open world Sonic Forces, and that's not a good tagline. Um, Forces was mid. Um, it was you hold one button and then you beat the game. That was it. Um, the model didn't look that good, apparently. I don't care for the model like that, but yeah, I don't, I, I don't like it. Uh, but, you know, people are upset about that. Uh, I'm just more so upset with uh, how, he, how it looks like Sonic controls. It looks like he's... Con like the control is it seems like it's based off sonic forces and you know again the game wasn't that great um it it didn't look fluid you're saying that the, the boost gameplay should stick with the boost type games like in the open world i would i would assume they would uh harken back to the adventure days when there was actually momentum uh with his jump and with this well with the with the boost games there is there's not really momentum like you, you can't compare the boost games to the adventure games because like uh, I would say the uh, boost era games are like more linear uh, and the adventure games uh, at least with how you move it would uh, feel like it would be better suited for an open world which is what I was hoping that they would do for the Sonic Frontiers a game that's coming out but it doesn't seem to be the case so that's disappointing um, other than that uh, I mean, for positives, I should, I guess I should say some positives. Uh, the game graphically looks beautiful. I have no idea how it's going to run on the Switch. <laughs> it's probably going to be like a cloud version or like they're going to have to really lower the resolution for that game. Uh, so I'm just probably going to get on PC, you know, just trying to get the highest graphics possible. Uh, 
anything else other than music um even though that music was getting repetitive like throughout all the trailers uh, it, i love i love i love the piano uh that, that was being played uh, that uh, that soundtrack whoever composed that good on you uh sonic sonic games in general you know they have just they just have great music that being said for the trailers again i wish they had like uh, more music to offer uh anything else uh nope that is it i can't think of any more positives right now um i'm probably missing something uh but as of right now the sonic frontiers man i just I, I want it to be delayed. Like I think I saw like a movement it's like delay frontiers. I am for that movement. I want them to work on it more. Um, I it take how many years off or whatever to you know finish the game how it should be. Uh, give Sonic better control. Add more stuff to the environment. Uh, give a better model. I guess. Uh, I'm, apparently there's gonna be more gameplay shown soon. Maybe it'll change people's minds. But as of right now, it's not looking that great. Hopefully, um, that that gets changed soon uh but all right so yes next topic of discussion oh by the way this might be a shorter episode than usual i'm i know i'm sort of kind of going fast with the, with these type of things but uh you know uh, I'm, i just i just had like a, a a decent amount of stuff that i wanted to talk about but i'm probably going to get through them a little bit faster uh just because but uh, anyways uh next topic of discussion uh i wanted to talk about some of my favorite music projects of 2022 so far uh, 2022, uh, in terms of music has been pretty good. Um, there are some albums that I enjoyed, obviously there's some albums that I enjoyed a lot more than others. Uh, but you know, uh, I, I'm not going to really talk about them that much. I'll probably mention them a little, a little later after I talk about the albums that I do care for. Uh, but you know, one of the big ones, uh, like the biggest return, uh, would be Kendrick Lamar with his album, Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers. And that album, I, I liked it. I, I liked it for what it was. Uh, musically speaking, it's not my favorite. Um, it's it, in terms of his studio albums, he has five in total. That being Section 80, Good Kid, Mad City, To Be a Butterfly, Damn, and then Miss Morale. This would probably rank fourth in terms of musicality, uh, just because I'm not going to be playing this album. Uh, I won't. I won't always cherry pick each song like that uh, to play on my own spare time. Uh, if I'm listening to the album, I'm most likely gonna have to listen through it the whole the whole way through uh, because the content in of itself I think is great. Uh, with his with Kendrick essentially being in a therapy session uh, and you know getting getting rid of his savior complex that people uh, put upon him. Um, I like that concept. Uh, I think it was well executed. It's just, it's just again musically speaking. Um, I don't think it's my, it's not my favorite, um, but you know, it's still, I still find the album enjoyable. So yeah, definitely give it a listen if you haven't. Um, okay. What else? Oh yes. The weekend album with Don FM serves as a companion piece to after hours that came out in 2020. And I, I really like this Don FM album as well. Um, I probably, uh, I'm, did I just say, did I just say I like after hours? I, if I didn't say it already, I, I do like after hours more. Uh, than Don FM, but this album, uh, I, I really enjoy it. Just not much to say other than, uh, you know, I, the, 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 the what, what could I say about this album? Like it's it, his vocals, you know, it's the weekend. His vocals are cool. Uh, you know, the soundscape wise is all that. I'm not going to, I'm, I'm not going to give any more big words or whatever. Just listen to the album. It's great. Uh, there's also FK, FK Twigs is uh, Caprice songs mixtape. Uh, I it was I, I like this one as well. Uh, it's less depressing than her previous album. Uh, what was it? Uh, Magdalene. Uh, I thought that was a really great record as well. But this one, you know, it, you, you can put a bunch of these songs on the playlist and you know just vibe out to them. Uh, I, she, I can tell that she really just had fun with this uh, mixtape. Uh, so yeah, go ahead and check that out. Uh, also, Benny the Butcher, the Butcher coming. You know, <laughs> if you know, if you know, you know. Uh, with Tana Talk Four, uh, I think it was just a smooth album. Listen, it's only it was albums like about forty minutes. I definitely recommend that project. Uh, all the songs are pretty much uh, like slappers, like not bumping the whip type material type thing. I would say it's just like you know that that raw hip hop. You know, what I'm saying if you like uh, older like '90s hip hop, you'll probably like this album. Um, but I really like all the songs on here. Uh, especially Johnny P's Caddy with J Cole with the, with what I wouldn't one of his best verses if if not his best verse, um, but you know other songs on here as well. Uncle Ben, Ten More Commandments, uh, Busta Busta Brick Nick, uh, 
yeah a great album as well uh go check that out uh if you haven't already and my other album uh, that i really like is from denzel curry with melt my eyes see your future pretty much like most of the songs on here except uh, you know, except a couple or, or a few or it's, it's not that deep but uh like this album as well uh not much to say i'm not gonna pretend like i i'm gonna you know give a whole concept or whatever to or give a give a whole explanation to the concept of the record i probably gonna listen to it a few more times before i fully understand it but uh go check that out um and yeah uh, those are my five favorite projects so far of the year uh some honorable mentions i can give maybe let me see uh, the little dirk record was cool 7220 i had some songs on there push the tea it's almost dry is all right uh i never liked you by feature i got a few songs out there but i didn't really like the whole record like that it was whatever uh surprisingly i did well not i don't know about surprisingly but i didn't like the d-day mixtape uh from dreamville you know with j cole jid uh, lou and all them i didn't really like it that much i'm not a huge overall dreamville fan i really only like uh j cole jid uh some earth game some boz so maybe some Mario Linux. I'm not calling them trash or anything. I just don't like their entire catalogs or their entire roster's music like that. I'm um, not a big fan of their whole co- like when, when they're when they're in the whole collective like in a, when they make an album or whatever. I'm just not that big of a fan. I wasn't a big fan of Revenge of the Dreamers three. Uh, I maybe I'm more. I think I'm more so like them for their individual projects. I don't really like them coming together like that. Uh, but that's just me though if you, you might like it um, I think I think I've seen a lot more people like it than dislike it so I might be in the minority but it's whatever it's my opinion I don't care which I really think like that but anyways uh, was there anything else let me check my Spotify uh, oh this oh well this album didn't come out this year but I had listened to the chronic for the first time by Dr. Dre uh, but uh, it got removed off Spotify so that's tough uh, I did like that record uh but yeah okay that can be it for now yeah uh for in terms oh no i also listened to uh 12 carat toothache actually yesterday by the time of this recording it when it dropped or like a little after it dropped it was near nighttime whatever i listened to it yesterday uh it was whatever i didn't really like it that much i had like two songs off there on my playlist so far i probably got to re-listen to it again to get a better opinion but it was whatever uh but uh transitioning to uh, another music topic i do want to get into uh, a prediction uh sort of thing with uh an album that's going to come out soon uh it's going to be from j cole uh the album or uh, i'm calling it an album uh it's not really confirmed if it is or not but uh he posted it on, on his instagram or instagram list uh, on instagram post he listed uh like what he was checking off before he uh i guess leaves or whatever with the fall off um and before the fall off it's something titled it's a boy and what i'm thinking is it's a boy all right so i have a i have like four uh predictions for this album that i want to uh i'm I'm thinking that i'm gonna be right in i could be wrong but i think it's just fun to predict with the with this album uh, since i am a big j cole fan he, uh, he is my favorite rapper uh, though you know i don't objectively think him as the best rapper i just really enjoy his music uh, so i just i just wanted to do like a little prediction thing for his uh, upcoming body of work uh, for uh, for it's a boy so i have four things right here um the first things first i think this will be a story based album uh comparison to the off season which was more like a mixtape than an album i think he's gonna go back to the story based uh type of album that he did like with uh, for your eyes only uh where he gave like a whole concept uh to like the story of like this guy who grew up in the hood uh and this down the third um i think it's gonna be the same thing here with it's a boy uh and i think you know it's it's bound i think it's just bound to be the case i don't see why he would make off season two um or like another off season with it's a boy especially with the title called it's a boy there has to be a concept with that name uh, assuming that this is an album uh, there has to be at least a concept whether it's story based or not it's just uh i think this album will be concept based uh my second prediction is that it will include songs uh want you to fly quote unquote and lion king on ice 
Uh, if you don't know, Want You to Fly, what I'm referencing is the song that played in his For Your Eyes Only documentary where uh, that song eventually leaked into what is called Vari or something, Javari, Vari, uh, where basically J. Cole is uh, talking about basically this newborn Jesus and who was born in the hood, like a, a new story, a new faith, uh, tells a story of like this new version of Jesus. Uh, I think that that will be a that song will be part of the album, especially since I believe a couple of years ago uh, when someone tweeted out, "Hey, we need the song uh, ASAP or like to be fully released," and J Cole was like, "Yeah, they re- uh, all right, they they ready for it or whatever." Uh, so I think we'll eventually get the full song, uh, just not you know not the leaked version or whatever, uh, and that'll probably be part of it's a boy. Uh, and I also referenced Lion King on Ice because for the off season he put the climb back uh, on there, even though the climb back was supposed to be for the fall off, like J Cole said. Uh, but he moved it to the off season for whatever reason. Uh, so I'm assuming Lion King on Ice would be the same thing. So I'm thinking whenever the fall off comes out, it'll be like a fresh start. We're not gonna know the songs that are supposed to be on there. Uh, so yeah, that's that's just what I think. Uh, number three, Kill Edward will be, will be a prominent role. Now I'm not sh- uh, I'm not sure if J Cole scrapped the idea of Jake of uh, uh, Kill Edward having his own album. If you don't already know, Kill Edward is just his alter ego. If you remember in KOD, it was just like this monotone voice, uh, just like basically like a darker version of J Cole or whatever. Uh, you know, he told it the alter ego to have his own album but i'm not sure if he's still doing that so i would think at the very least that kill edward would have just a prominent role on this album if he's not creating a seven album for it uh, otherwise why wouldn't he put it on the list like he did on instagram or if he's really sticking with that concept of El- kill edward is just the alter ego like another person uh he'll he'll still release the second or the other body of work on on, you know on kill our side I don't know but I think uh, kill our will be a prominent role uh, if not on this album sometimes uh, soon I don't think he would just abandon it uh, but then again he kind of abandoned the well I don't know uh, for I was gonna say he abandoned the KOD deluxe thing that he mentioned what it was like the original two week versions of KOD but he didn't outright say he was done with it he, he just never did it so maybe he will release it maybe he will not I don't know uh, and then my final prediction is that it will either release by the end of 2022 or early 2023. And I only say this because J. Cole doesn't, and typically speaking, J. Cole releases in a two year window, uh, aside from last time where from KOD to, to the off season, it was over a three year wait. I'm not counting Revenge of the Dreamers 3. Uh, but before before that though it was KOD and Four Eyes Only, which was a year and some change, uh, and so I'm more so thinking 2023, early 2023, maybe late 2023. I don't know, but the reason I say end of 2022 is because I checked the date on um, for December 9th of 2022, and that falls on a Friday. So, uh, and the reason I say December 9th is because if you know, you know, Four Your Eyes Only and uh, Forest Hills Drive were both released on December 9th of their respective years. So I'm thinking he's going to stick with that date uh, for the next album. I would think for the fall off, but I don't think the fall is going to come out this year unless he releases both albums this year. Uh, that, that'd be cool. But I think just the one album and if he does release it by the end of 2022, I think it will be that date just to you know, appease fans, or maybe he'll be like, hey, thank you, uh, you know, it's not coming out, you know, the 9th, but the next week on the 16th, maybe he'll do that, I don't know, but uh, I'm, I'm may- more likely 2023, I want to, want to take his time with the record, so, you know, I- I'm fine with waiting however long, uh, so we can get a great body of work, but yeah, those are my predictions for the J. Cole album, It's a Boy, whenever that drops, again, I'm assuming this is album, this could be an EP or anything, but you know, uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you guys just think I'm on the ball, if you have any theories on your own, let me know in the comment section below if you are watching the YouTube version. And this last part here, it's, it's more so theory crafting than anything concrete. Uh, this is just what I've been thinking uh, in terms of the musicality of both J. Cole and Kendrick. 
and this this I'm just pulling stuff out of my butt right now but I could be right I could be wrong but I'm just gonna lead on to it anyway uh, so my theory is that J. Cole and Kendrick are plotting something right uh, what I don't know yet but we'll get to that in a minute I want to note that both albums uh, for the off season and Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers released almost a year apart exactly uh, for J. Cole his, the off season released on May 14th 2021 while Kendrick released uh, the Mr. Morale in May 13th 2022 almost one year apart exactly and maybe it would have been the same day if you know the year wasn't you know what I'm saying? like if if it was ba uh, he had to release on a friday i'm assuming so he honestly why he would do it on a saturday so that's i would think that's why on the 13th and another reason the singles they dropped before their albums uh dropped uh reference uh, both songs reference nipsey hustle if you remember j cole dropped interlude before dropping the off season and he referenced nipsey near the end of the song and Kendrick, when he released the heart part five, uh, he referenced Nipsey through the last verse of, the, of that song. Uh, so I'm, you know, saying there's a correlation there. Um, and going back to the songs that released on the albums, if you go back to Hunger on Hillside, Kendrick says, Big Stepper, uh, blank, uh, don't get stepped on. Big Stepper, like Mr. Morale and the Big Stepper. You, you know, you know, what I'm saying, you know, what I'm saying, you feel me? You feel, I mean, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, Kendrick, you know, Cole, you know, they friends or whatever. You know, what I'm saying, they could have, they could say coag, they could have coagulated. You know, what I'm saying, talk about, you know, you know, what I mean? and then, and then you go to the song "Count Me Out" on Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers. Uh, he says on the song, "Ain't nobody but the mirror looking for the fall off, the fall off." You know, what I'm saying, J. Cole. You know, what I'm saying the fall off. You feel me? You know, what I'm you know, what I'm saying I'm just putting the piece together. You feel me? You know, what I'm saying, and then you know, you know what I mean. So I'm just saying that could be, you know, what I'm saying a coagulation. Uh, so I'm just saying, do, does this mean a potential collab is in the works? Hmm? Hmm? Maybe a collab album? Hmm? I, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I could be, I could be wrong. This is this, this, this could just be a huge coincidence like you know <laughs> i don't know i don't know i just i just i just wanted to see if that was something uh, maybe i'm right maybe i'm wrong uh but you know i i, I that being said uh, i want to i want to i didn't put it in my notes but I, I, let me tell the idea of if they did release an album um i don't really care that much if they don't i mean they released enough material where i'm just like i can enjoy both of them uh, separately and be fine with it they're not the exact artist they're uh they're not they're they're not two of the same artists really like you can pinpoint what's a j cole song what's a kendrick song like, they're similar enough but like you know what i'm saying you go for one you go for one for another reason than you do kendrick i'll put it that way but i wouldn't be mad if they dropped the collab album um i've been wanting it ever since that that idea sparked in my mind uh back in like what 2016 17 uh whenever whenever i first heard the black friday remixes when Kendrick did, or uh, when Kendrick uh, uh, wrote over, uh, what was it, Tales of Two Cities, and then J. Cole wrote over All Right, I'm like, yo, they, they need a collab, bro, but I'm not needing a collab, I would just like it, I would want it, but I, I wouldn't say I wouldn't want it, I was just saying I, I want it, I would, li I would like for it to, I would like for it to happen, I just won't clamor uh, the idea of it happening if it doesn't, you know, uh, I'm not going to force them to. Uh, you know, say so they're both they're both they're both family men. They got stuff going on in their lives. I'm not going to force them to do something that they don't have time for or that they have no need for. Uh, but it, it would be I think it would be great. I think it would be great. Maybe since Ken Kendrick is leaving TDE, uh, maybe he'll have more free time or something. But even the top dog entertainment guy, I think it was the president saying, say, hey, I've been trying to get them to make the album. But, you know, uh, you know, saying they they're their own men or whatever. They're... So. That's whatever, but anyways, that's it for my notes. I, I yeah, I knew this was gonna be a short episode. I know I sort of like skimmed through stuff, but I just really wanted to get this episode, uh, you know, saying get get my get my ball rolling with the uh, putting these episodes out. So I hope you guys did enjoy, uh, and let me know if you guys enjoyed the episode. Maybe I'm sure there's some improvements that I can make here and there, but um, I do like the I, I do I just I just like the idea of just putting it. I, I, I just blah, 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 blah. okay sorry uh yeah uh I, I i just wanted to get the ball rolling with uh putting these episodes out and yeah let's let's just keep that going 
uh hopefully i have more topics to talk about soon i don't know how often i'll release these episodes uh would be easier if say i had like a guest on like i had the past two episodes uh so we can just like bounce back uh you know ideas back and forth with each other i may have an, a, another guest on the next episode who knows uh but anyways yeah that, that's it for this episode of the scrubs podcast if you guys did enjoy leave a like on the video version and if you're listening to the spotify and apple uh, podcast version be sure to rate this show five stars i really appreciate it, it boosts me up the algorithm gets more listeners to join in on the fun and yeah just let me know and if again if you are listening to the uh are you watching this on the video version of the podcast let me know how you thought about it in the comment section below uh and yeah other than that thank you guys for listening and have yourselves a great day